Dan says, I saw Dan the other day and I said, Dan, I haven't done my uh, uh, testimony. He says, it, it says, it don't matter as long as you mention God. <laughs> so I thought I'll just get God in a lot here. Um, big up to my family. Uh, big up to the family who are able to make it here, my friends who are able to make it here, and the family watching online live or going to be watching it later in Canada, Maryland, New York, New Jersey, Florida, Jamaica. <laughs> and Sharon, who was in Atlanta, but she's on the West Coast somewhere, I'm not sure. Uh, it is a shame that my uncles and aunts who have passed away could not be here today because coming from a strong Jamaican Christian family, they would be so proud. My uncle Lyndon would be whistling loudly. Auntie Jane would be saying, hallelujah. <laughs> uncle Gilroy is joyous and up there looking down and Auntie Sybil would make sure that I had tea and biscuits. But especially my uncle Amos, who worshipped here. You know him, Rob, for many a years. What a warrior. He would be so happy for today. Um, to my dad and my little sister Susan, who aren't here, I know they're happy. And finally, at home here in Derby, my dear sister Cynthia, who's lovingly looking after mum, who can't be here today because she's isolating because she has hand surgery on Wednesday. But, hello, Mum. So my journey, um, I had to go Sunday school, had to go. It wasn't a choice, it wasn't an option. I had to go when I was 16, so that's where my journey started and God was knocking at my door, though I didn't know it. Um, and then nothing happened until my cousin Barry, who is up there, I believe, did a, a family reunion. And Uncle Amos went to the front, and um, before he said this verse, he says, follow this verse in your head or you can speak it out. So I thought, okay, I'll listen to him. So I followed it in my head whilst he was talking. And then when he finished, he said, who said the verse in their head? And I says, well, me. Uh, so me and my cousin Kevin Smith, we went up to the front, and Uncle Amos prayed hard for us, and he told me then, God is calling you. I didn't believe him. Um, 2010 um, was my first stint of worshipping under my own steam and not from the duress of having to go. Um, and I went to church at the time with uh, my very good friend, Carleen, and my friend in the corner there, Peter Richards, who uh, encouraged me all the time to, you know, find, find God. And uh, I did that. So God was knocking on my door. Um, I, and then nothing happened. Um, and then uh, Saturday 2016, um, running in Normanton Park, and I bumped into Mark Grant. Yes, you there, wave Mark, let everybody see you. Part of the walking and running group. And uh, it's a faith-based group. So God thought, Tony is ignoring me, so I'm going to come to him. And uh, it was through lockdown, spent so much time with the walking and running group and the old faith. And um, um, yeah, I started to feel a little shift and a change. And I invited my very good friend, Katisha, to, uh, to the group. And uh, Katisha joined the group and loved the group. And in turn, Katisha says to me, why don't you come to church and have a look? And uh, the church she goes to is here, Derby City Church, and I came and had a look. And um, it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> but I'd only been here three months, and then I had a detached left retina. Um, and it was truly terrible. The first three weeks after surgery, um, man, I, I remember sneezing and the pain was so much, and I had to go back into hospital that day for uh, urgent secondary surgery. But I remember thinking that day, my God, is this how I'm going to die? And when I say that, 
I'm not just like throwing that word out willy-nilly, actually thinking, is this how I'm going to die? It was in bear. But my mum, my sister, my family, you know, nursed me back to health. And now it's time to leave the home. They're happy for me to go, but I like the cooking there. And then, and then, I came back to church after being nursed back to church and joined the Bible group. Um, I'm a street pastor, which is amazing. I, I, I'm part of the Connect team here, uh, welcoming new people into the church, and I support the Next Steps, which is the last, give it a plug here, last Last Sunday of the month, uh, the new people into the church would go over to the Hope Center and we just introduce you to the team. Um, so now, after God knocking on my door and me not really noticing it, I can thankfully say, say today that I proclaim publicly I'm giving my life to the Lord. And... And it, it does sound strange to say that, but, you know, uh, it feels good. And uh, to my family and friends who I can see, Errol, there looking at me, love you. Um, I just want to say, uh, you know, keep me on track because I will fail at times, but just remember that I did say that I'm going to give myself to the Lord. Dan said three minutes. It's been four and a half. Rob wants to talk. Thank you. Well done, mate. Tony, the verse we've chosen for you is Ephesians chapter... Who, who chose it? And, thank you, Julia. It's the royal we, you know it is. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16 and 19. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you... You, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide, how long, how high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Bless you, Tony. Just watch your head, mate. The smallest bloke baptising the biggest bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Father, we thank you, Lord, that Lord, we recognise this is just a moment, Lord. A baptism moment where Tony declares his faith. Father, we pray, Lord, that in days following this, Lord, that there will be opportunities and many moments where he can declare his faith. Lord, thank you, Lord, for the way, Lord, that you have chased him, the way that you have, Lord, followed him, the way that you have, Lord, uh, drawn him close to you. Lord, we pray, Lord, that as he journeys with you, Lord, more and more, he would know your love, your kindness, your gentleness in his life. And, Lord, may that be manifest with the way that he interacts with people. Bless him, Lord. Fill him with his spirit, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Tony, a confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we now baptize you in the name of the 